Now, y'all, there are some things that just tickle me to death. And I'm talking about that would just make me fall out and laugh. There was nothing better than yesterday than hearing that human trash Marjorie Taylor Greene as she stood uh, at the lectern uh, as the speaker of the day, whatever the hell they call it, actually having the audacity, the unmitigated gall for this white nationalist to actually say this. <laughs> The members are reminded to abide by decorum of the House. I'm sorry. Run that back again. The members are reminded to abide by decorum of the House. So the fool who's standing up there saying, the house will be in order. <laughs> Is this your trash ass right here? So my, many of, some of my Republican friends want to take the economy hostage. I get it. Unless I agree to their economic plans. All of you at home should know what those plans are. Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans... Some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. Let me give you, anybody who doubts it, contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. That means Congress doesn't vote. Well, I'm glad to see you. No, I tell you, I, I enjoy conversion. You know, it means if... If Congress doesn't keep the programs the way they are, they'd go away. Other Republicans say, I'm not saying it's a majority of you. I don't even think it's even a significant. But it's being proposed by individuals. I'm not politely not naming them, but it's being proposed by some of you. Look, folks, the idea is that we're not going to be we're, we're not going to be moved into being threatened to default on the debt if we don't respond. <laughs> Folks. Decorum, huh? <laughs> uh, am I the only one who remembers when Obama was president and Republicans showed their ass? Press play. Also, those who claim that our reform efforts would ensure illegal immigrants. This, too, is false. The reforms, the reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegal. It's not true. And one more misunderstanding I want to clear up. Under our plan, no federal dollars 
will be used to fund abortions, and federal conscience laws will remain in place. Now, hmm, that must be something, um, Greg, to hear that fool of all people actually talk about the need for decorum. Well, I mean, Roland, we remember the huge controversy over Barack Obama's tan suit. When the white nationalists mean decorum, they mean anything that isn't white nationalist. Uh, certainly it doesn't violate decorum for, for Marjorie Taylor Greene to walk into the floor of the federal legislature dressed like Ric Flair. It doesn't violate decorum <laughs> for them. Woo! It doesn't violate decorum for them to come almost to blows on and to pull each other back as Matt Gates uh, threatens Kevin McCarthy and they start to almost fight with each other. But I, I would just say this. We know where this is headed. There isn't a show that you do. There isn't a night that you come on here that you don't give some form of history lesson. And if we want to know what comes next, when you start talking about people just basically doing whatever the hell they want in terms of not allowing other people to speak or this kind of thing, all we got to do is go back to 1850s. And how close are we now when they took the metal detectors down, when in the state of Florida, as of next month, open carry will be uh, the law? How close are we now for somebody to put their hands on somebody in the federal legislature? And if that somebody is Jamal Bowman or uh, Ilhan Omar or Ayanna Presley, then the ass whipping that will be handed out will then take this to another level. See, the problem with Marjorie Taylor Greene is she wants to look like a WWF wrestler, but she don't want that smoke. So when that staffer whispered in her ear, I tell them that the uh, uh, that the House needs to come to order because you saw the guy do that. I'm just wondering if it was in response to her realizing she had no authority in that seat that rotates. You see him there? There he is. He's going to get up. He's going to tell her what to say. And now she's going to say it. And they're going to start laughing. Now, I'm wondering whether she asked him to do that because she realizes nobody respects her. But that's where we are, Roland. We are in a place where we've been before. When there's no respect, there's going to be no respect. And once this genie's out, it's all good fun and games, Ron DeSantis, when you're talking that smack, when you think the other side's going to have decorum. But whoa that day. What did Langston Hughes say? Look at the Negro, meek and mild. Beware the day they change their minds. Marjorie Taylor Greene, she better be happy that laughing is the only thing that came out of that. But she should, she should probably take a lesson from that and not push it anymore. Uh, that that I've never seen uh, Tommy with a whole the whole the half of the chamber just laugh at the person in the speaker's position. Yeah, <laughs> I don't cover Congress, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty. Uh, I, I have to say, you know, I'm with Gregory. Uh, I think you know of all the harmful things that uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene has done, including the, the way she targeted Jamal Bowman, I think what she did there is probably the best thing she's ever going to do, which is to give us all a really, really good laugh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 I just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed uh, just the laughter uh, that they had uh, of that fool right there. So I just, <laughs> I, I couldn't get enough of that. So I, I just, yeah, but, but it, just even hearing the word decorum, come out of her mouth uh, is, is like um, is like listening to Lon Bobert, Bobert uh, say calm down. That's just, that's just sheer stupidity. All right, folks, back to our Roland Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. When you talk about blackness and what happens in black culture, we are about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause to long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, wait to $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Checks and money orders go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037-0196. The 
Cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 